Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Drew for New here. I am a newlywed wife and here I like to show you guys my daily life, hauls, grocery hauls, and now I am starting a new series about cooking for two and learning how to cook for two when you're recently newly married. So let's get right into today's haul. So today's haul totaled to $257. I do live in Texas and um, I do feel like that is on the more expensive side and I did do a lot of couponing. I did get this delivery so the delivery fee was $5 and I also tipped the driver $12.41 because that was the recommended um, amount for what I paid. And then also a dollar and 75 cents for tax and then also I paid a fuel surge charge for 50 cents. Not too sure what that means, but let's get right into today's haul and what I got, the breakdown and the meals that I'm going to be preparing this week. So first we're gonna start right here. I got five cases of this regular um, Hill Country Fair um, branded waters. This is HEB's brand. I got three containers of these. These are the alkaline something type of water. These are the waters that Gabe drinks. So I got three of these or four. I can't remember what I just said. I, my brain just like farted. Um, I got two packs of these ones. These are just the HEB brand. I got a little case of Diet Cokes. And along with the drinks, I got two Diet Cokes and then two Diet Sprites. I don't know why, what happened between here and here. Um, but they were supposed to be all like this because these were the ones that were on sale. These dogs just came in from being outside, so they're panting. Beep you, beep you. He's already just as big as Kirby. So if you hear dog panting in the background, I apologize. Also, my dishwasher is going on right now, so you're also gonna hear that, and then here comes Moose. Um, so I got some frozen veggies. I got this mixed family vegetable bag. I'm gonna be making a homemade chicken pot pie for dinner tonight. Um, super sweet corn is one of our favorite sides, so I got three things of that, because you can also put those into soups. Um, when I was checking out, this came up on the end, and it's a chili recipe, championship, whatever, chili mix. I thought it wouldn't hurt to have this on hand for the winter months. Um, I've been really liking jasmine rice, so I got this boil in a bag jasmine rice. We got two avocados, and with the avocados, we got this mix for free, so I thought it wouldn't hurt to just try it out because it was free. Um, if you've tried this, let me know down below. I've never tried this before. I got the extra spicy for Gabe. Um, we got two Roma tomatoes for our sandwiches. We got some green grapes, romaine lettuce, and then we got a mixture of bell peppers. Um, I got these to cook with, and I got these to make peppers, our pepper sandwiches. Um, not too sure what we're gonna do with that, but we have a variety for sure. Um, I got this bacon for breakfasts, even some like soups and stuff. It's also good to like put this in like pasta. I love bacon and everything. Um, this is my first time to ever create a homemade chicken pot pie, and I don't care what you say, even though this is pre-made crust, I'm calling it a homemade one. Um, so I got this deep dish one, and then I also got the regular because I did not know which one to get. And I thought with the like winter months coming up, I'll probably be making pies for like Thanksgiving and Christmas, so I thought it wouldn't hurt to have those on hand because there's two in each. Um, we got two things of this extra lean ground beef. I got a thing of romaine lettuce for like um, sandwiches, wraps, and also salads. We love to do that around here. I got some cauliflower bits to put in either cauliflower mashed potatoes, cauliflower fried rice. Um, I can even find a soup maybe that I can make with this. Um, we love to do different things and we haven't bought cauliflower like rice like this in a while. Um, I also got a thing of shredded cabbage. I'm going to be making with some of the ground beef a um, low carb, low calorie egg roll in a bowl. If you haven't had egg roll in a bowl, it is so good. Um, I got a thing of chicken breast for the um, chicken pot pie and just to have for like meals and such. Um, this I think I got for free or I got something in this haul for free. I cannot technically remember what it was, um, but it was only $9.48 and it's a dinner starter kit. It's seasoned sliced beef, seasoned sliced beef, and it's supposed to be like the flavor of beef and broccoli. So I got the rice and I thought, hey, we could do that or we can even eat it on the lettuce wrap. I think that'd be really, really good. Um, Gabe is trying to eat healthier. We've been both trying. And so slowly trying to try new things that are better for you. So we got this avocado oil and the spray. I prefer the spray can. Let me know down below what you like. 
Um, we're gonna make some cool different um, like recipes and a lot of them call for crescent rolls. So I grabbed the 90 calorie ones and also these regular ones just to see if there's actually a difference in flavor and like performance, like if they bake differently. For sandwiches this week, we picked up this sour bread dough, we, or not dough, sour bread bread because Gabe really likes it from um, Cheesecake Factory, so I thought we could try it this week on the sandwiches. And I like, it's just, it feels so bougie to buy bed bread from the bakery. Um, I picked up four cans of this Campbell's Cream of Chicken with Herbs. I like the ones with herbs, I feel like it gives more flavor, and I got four of those because, like I said, the fall months are coming up and soup and all the things call for these and recipes. So we needed that. Um, I picked up this creamer and then hazelnut. Hazelnut reminds me so much of my childhood because it's what my grandma drank. And then this one has been my legit favorite. I don't want any creamer but this one. But hazelnut also sounded really good. So I got both for this week. Um, I don't know if I said this yet, but we also got some carb sense tortillas for wraps. I also got some regular white bread if Gabe didn't like this bread. Um, and Mr. Bruiser is trying to show y'all our deli meat. Um, so Gabe, when I first met him, he absolutely hated ham. He wouldn't even eat ham on Thanksgiving, and so I grew up on ham. I never had anything other than ham for my sandwiches. And um, when I met him, he told me ham was gross. Well, of course I wanted to impress him. So I was like, yeah, ham is so gross. And so for the last, like, I'm not even kidding you, six years, I've barely had any ham, like even ham sandwiches. I even go to like Subway and get turkey now because he always got turkey. And then recently he was like, hey, can you buy some um, ham? I really want to have it on a sandwich. And now we've been buying ham. But as you can tell, I buy the small pack because I don't want to waste it because I already know that he'll finish up this peppered turkey breast. So the H-E-B kind like this is really good. It's also really good to get it from the deli. But honestly, you guys, with prices rising, it's just expensive. Like, I think last time we got five slices from the deli and it was $10. And this, I think, was like $3 and some change. So I'm going to go with this. Even though it tastes better from the deli, I just feel like it's just so expensive. And you just got to, like, do what you got to do, okay? Um, Gabe really likes cheese, if you guys did not know that. This was $5.80, which, yes, is a little bit pricey. But these cheeses are so good. They taste good. And he really enjoys them. So I picked this up for him. We got eggs. We always are having eggs. We have eggs literally all the time. We do breakfast tacos. We make um, all kinds of, we bake all the time. So eggs are always a necessity for us and we always get the biggest one we can. Um, recently, I've been buying this mixture bag. So it's three pounds of red, white, and sweet onions. Um, and I like it because you get the red onion for your salad and sandwiches. You get your sweet onion for cooking. And you also get your white onion for cooking because each thing has a different flavor to it. I didn't know that there was different flavors because I personally grew up on these um, more brown ones. And Gabe was used to these more white ones. And there is definitely a different flavor from the two. So depending on what I'm in the mood for is what I'll use to cook with. And we have not bought chips in so stinking long. We have literally not had chips in the house. And so even soda, we haven't really had soda in a while. So I really wanted to get the chips that we both liked. So I got this pack for Gabe, but we'll honestly share. His favorite chips are these and the puffs. So I got these for him. And then these are, this one is just like the all around good mix. I actually had gotten another one, but they substituted, substituted, sub. You guys know what I mean um, for these, which is fine because I like these four and I like Cheetos sometimes, but I don't really like these. But if we make chili, we can do um, chili, uh, walking taco chili things and that. Um, I feel like that's like way soon. November 29th. I don't know. Our chips usually go that bad that fast. I felt like chips stayed better longer. Anywho, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is everything that we got this week. Um, I really have only, I have a meal plan of doing like chili. I want to do the beef and broccoli. So I already have broccoli in the freezer that I'm going to use. And then we're going to use this bowl in a bag rice. We're going to have sandwiches. I haven't decided if we're doing stuffed peppers with the rice or if I'm going to do like stuffed peppers with chili. Um, I haven't decided just yet. We're going to do definitely the egg roll in a bowl. We have our sandwiches and this is what we got you guys it was a little bit more expensive because we did suck up on our waters and we do buy bottled water um, i've explained this in every single video that um the where we live the water is horrible so we do buy a lot of bottles of water and we buy a lot all at once because my dogs also drink the bottled water because they get sick from the water. We were taking them to the vet because we couldn't figure out what was wrong with them. We thought it was their food. We thought it was treats. Come to find out, 
it was actually our faucet water and even the water from in there was making our dog sick and that is not good for me and not good for my dogs and so we have just decided to get the bottled water not everybody will agree with it not but everybody will understand but that is okay um i hope you guys enjoyed this haul you guys stay tuned for our meals because i'm definitely going to be doing a ton of videos on meals this week i really want to showcase that because i feel like there's a lot of newlyweds that follow me a lot of new wives or just new girlfriends that are moving in with their boyfriends and they have no idea how to cook for two people because honestly it's a struggle for me i always overcook i'm used to cooking for my family, my sister and her kids, and my grandma. So, that's a lot of people compared to just me and Gabe. So, and I also wanna show you guys how we can reuse leftovers. I'm gonna try to start reusing leftovers better and show you guys different recipes with them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you on the next one. Bye y'all.